Hi, this is Tony at Casa Esmeralda. Thank you for those who have liked and subscribed. Hit that like button down below. Let's get right into this today. I did a change on uh, my tractor. So my ignition switch, which was a really old one, <coughs> which is this one here. So all the tools out today. Um, and I looked online. It's You can't even possibly even get it online anymore. It's in like an old Italian uh, sip, sip, peck, sip, pep, sip, 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 something, sip, sip, pep, or something like that. So, this is the old switch right here. Um, and so that's the old one. And when I rebuilt the motor with the mechanic, came out of the shop for like about a uh, couple months actually all the lights were working and everything like that and then all of a sudden the lights didn't work so I think now it is a switch because uh, everything's working it's starting a lot smoother it's starting a lot better um, I was really surprised today and also the the fuel pump the fuel pressure pump and stuff to to get the fuel into the the diesel motor and things like that um, there's more pressure to that. So everything runs off of this switch. There's all sorts of things on this tractor that run off of this ignition switch. So if you don't have a good ignition switch, then uh, your tractor won't start. It probably won't run. Your glow plugs and all your pump systems, everything, your injector pumps, everything is wired into this switch. So um, it's all good. Um, I just used uh, the... The bolt on it was a little bit larger, so this piece, they're coming in, and then I had to use uh, my drill here, so I just used, I actually used a large uh, drill at first, which was, um, I used a large drill bit, one right here. So I used one of these guys, this is the one anyway, so I used that and I kind of chipped away at the edges and then I smoothed it out with uh, this one here. So this is one of the first things to see if I could get the bolt in to work. Then um, I systematically <clears throat> took the wires off. Um, so I systematically took the wires off very carefully. To match the numbers up with the numbers uh, right here so matching the numbers up because all of them they have uh, numbers on them which are right here so um, and then I took them off because some are double wires and that and I put them on here but I didn't have for this one here uh, the see like on this one they have bolts right they have like these screws and this one it doesn't so I just use skinny uh, filo wire and I just twist tied it together um, I was at I was at the hardware store uh, yesterday and uh, the guy said no you didn't have them you can get me a, you normally can get stuff in for me or I go to uh, an electrical mechanic here and he should have them but then I would have to cut the connectors on here and I don't think the wires are long enough to actually do another connection so I'm gonna try to figure out something to do something better this is kind of like a temporary thing but it is working it is starting better as long as the uh, two points are in contact with each other and there's feel a wire and it's very tightly tied around they're very securely fastened on there so possibly I'm gonna leave it you know like if I don't have any problems with the motor I'm just gonna leave it like this it's another just quick fix where I'm around here there's there's really nothing um, like when I was looking for the switch, um, the guy wanted uh, like over 40 plus euros for the switch and I was like forget it and I looked online and I saw one for about 20 euros and then this one fit me and it was from Malpass in England but it took three weeks to get here. Uh, also it was like I never go to the post off all the time, I kind of go like every couple of weeks. So I haven't been able to use the tractor really because all my stuff is really planted here there are some veggies down there that are already done the last is the squash 
and the melanzani and the stuff here in the palapins and the greenhouse. So there's a lot of stuff that's sort of dying off right now. But as of now, in the next two weeks time, if it does rain, which it did rain on Wednesday, and I would have used it on the day after it rained just to go around here and down on my property and stuff to do some clearing and clearing. But the ground's just too hard. So I'm just going to wait on a couple, actually on a good couple day rain. So if it rains like two days in a row or something to do some cleaning before the olives and things like that, then that would be great. So anyways, um, I attached all the wires and everything like that. And... Uh, well, let's give her a try, you know. So, this is what happened here is that it basically I got so frustrated. Um, this thing's like 30 years old anyway. And I was kept putting WD-40 and lubricant in it and graphite and everything for preventing it from getting it stuck. So, I was just getting frustrated all the time and just get a new one. And it's already done for you and things like that. So, you know. That's why I had to replace it because, and also it was in my lights and things like that. So this is something very good. Uh, maybe like 30 years old. So this is antique. I'm going to keep it anyway. Just keep things around for other good uses. And then connect the batteries and things like that. And it's been like uh, already three weeks. So, uh, you know, when you're connecting two volt batteries, uh, two batteries, to one and things like that and it's a tractor and you want to get the 24 volt system going and things like that because you do need that for the the big uh four piston diesel motor and things like that so very carefully connecting the batteries make sure that when you start before you start working in that that the batteries are connected and disconnected the batteries are disconnected and things like that so that's all good Oh, this this is fine. Like, and I actually just drove it a few feet forward. Oh, I just put the hood back on here, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to start her up here, get the glow system going a little bit. Yeah. So just starting on the first throw, you know, just like it was like maybe two cranks there. And then like the throttle not even up and anything like that. So before I started, I normally put the throttle and even when I, after I installed the, the ignition switch on here, uh, I didn't put the throttle down or anything and it, it started on like right now, it started like on the second crank. So it should be starting on one or three cranks on a brand new piston motor and things like that. So really happy and stoked right now. Um, I hope I can make it through the winter with this. Uh, so, you know, this tractor is like old. So I don't use it like as a conventional farming tractor or anything like that. It's just for me doing my vegetables here and then for me to get my firewood. So it's not like my daily driver. I probably use it only a couple times a month, but it's, it's got its life still a little bit left into it. So the at 352C, they call it Montagna Mountain Italian call it. And this is uh, when Italian guy came by here uh, a couple of weeks ago. He said, this is the best tractor they ever built starting to get harder and harder to get parts for it. Uh, it's a five position switch. So the one I had before was actually a four position. So there, if I wanted to add on parts to the, to the tractor, if there was more um, like uh, to the tillage and I wanted to add another PTO and things like that, like PTO and then tillage and plow and all these things and you can add more switches. So this is a five position switch which is really cool. And then we got the lights working here. And this light here, this light needs to get changed. Not really concerned really 
you know, because I'm not leaving the property or anything like that. It's just me. And I kind of quit when the sun goes down around here. I'm up early. I didn't check the, the backup lights, but I'm pretty sure it's working. So, that's all good. Fiat, but Fiat 352C, Montana Mountain. With a new ignition switch from uh, Sparex Parts in England. So Malpass picked up the part for me from Sparex and uh, they shipped it here. It took like two weeks, but I, I never picked it up in those like three weeks anyway. But this is just something that I wanted to get done and out of the way. Starting great, got some lights working, you know. When you got a place like this and you, you're living off the grid or off the land and things like that, that you gotta always have your tractor running just in case. Especially now with the fire hazard and my, my neighbor down there. So that's when I used it uh, when my neighbor uh, had the fire here and I drove it down. And then uh, the ignition switch was going wonky on me. So then I, I shut it down and then I ordered a new one. So this is something good to have because if there's a fire or anything like that, uh, because I'm like at 70 days now without rain or it's been rained here like in 150 days it's rained here like five times only so if I need to create a fire line or anything like that these crawler tracks will, will drive through anything and with this plow and on the back I can create a fire line in an hour and I can save my old grove whatever it takes you know to get things done around here and things like that and I can drive this thing up and down anything with the crawler track. So that's the nice thing about having the crawler track. All the gauges are, are working. Uh, I looked online, there's a, I wanted to get a new uh, speedometer, odometer gauge. Because this one's are like holes, just put it like on the new motor and things like that. We'll see. Just really happy right now that, you know, I got this up and running anyway. So kind of a safety security thing around here. And then if I want to get a haul a load of early firewood, which I've been actually pulling up here by hand. Over here I've been hauling firewood up by hand right now. Just a little pile, get going sort of thing. Got some firewood, firewood here. So get it in up here early before uh, the rain comes. And you have dry firewood, let it really dry out. And you have these really nice fires to make your pizzas and, and do your cooking on the firewood oven. And thank you uh, for those who have uh, wished me a happy birthday, which was on Sunday. So I appreciate that. Okay, just gonna shut her off. Diesel just keeps running. You know, it needs like, it needs like a, something to air in the in the motor and the line to turn it off otherwise this thing will just keep running and running so that's when the ignition switch was going wonky on me it just kept running and running and running and I had to do like a put it reverse and forward and then stall all the tools out today very still very hot so looking forward uh, to doing some more tomato sauce canning and all this stuff okay so that's done
on the Fiat 352C, Montana Mountain. According to a few Italians, this is the best Fiat tractor ever made. So, and it's getting harder and harder to find parts for it. Anyways, uh, thank you for those who have watched my videos and liked and subscribed. Hit that like button down below. I hope I've inspired you to go outside, to plant and grow your own food, to do things on your own. At least try and, uh, you know, just having a nice summer. Enjoy, get outside, you know, enjoy your summer and just have a nice time. So take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.